everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Five Questions with Wrestling Rampage. The three amigos are back in this bitch. That's right guys, we are back with this edition of Five Questions with WR. That's when we answer your guys' questions you guys sent in. Send in questions like crazy. Hope that you guys enjoy our live that we did uh, last week. Um, I know that uh, I know it was fun and everything and uh, people are asking when, when are we going to do it again. We will be doing it soon. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Uh, we will promote it with the right pops. We promote every damn thing we do. We do. So guys, uh, we, get, get your we, guys' questions. We, we are producers, directors, and writers here. Uh, if you guys want to ask a question, the easiest way and the best way to do it is in the comment section down below. Ask a question and your question will be on the next uh, episode if it's not a dumbass question or if it's not a question that we have answered. Yeah, if it's not a question we already fucking answered. Yeah, it's like uh, one of Bob, answer the same fucking it's like one of Bob Seger's enough. old song, The Fire Down Below. Oh, is it? Uh, let's go I love go that with... song. <laughs> <laughs> let's go ahead and go with the first question asked by Ice Ice. Thoughts on Christopher Daniels' Curry Man gimmick? Uh, you guys remember, he's hot, yep. he's spicy, uh -huh. he's Curry Man. He's hot, he's spicy, and he's a fucking spicy chicken sandwich. Fuck Curry Man. <laughs> I hated it. You didn't like, you didn't like no, Curry Man? fucking sucked. Yeah. I didn't get two fucks about it. And I remember he was jobbing with Shark Boy. Him and Shark Boy were a tag team. What were they? Were they were a job or tag team? Uh, actually, him, Shark Boy, and uh, they were super Eric, fucking Eric. Yeah, Super Eric were like the best friends or some shit. Like yeah, I didn't, super, I didn't best get super friends fucks. or some shit. I thought it was poor portrayal of Christopher Daniels. You know, I mean, it was like like when he first came in, I was like, "What the fuck is this?" You know. And then I heard rumblings about it was Christopher Daniels because of course he's wearing a mask and yeah. nobody really knows exactly, yeah. but. Um, they yeah, come to find out it was Christopher Daniels, and I was sitting there like, "Why, why, 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 why did why did he just be the the fallen angel instead? That was better than fucking the Curry Man. The Curry Man gimmick sucked. Yeah, like at all. No, fuck it sucked. Why don't he just come out of himself with, with the talent that he has? Mm -hmm. Don't get that right here. Motherfuckers good on mass and shit like that right there. Of course, I can understand if they're you know if they're just starting out and having other matches with other people, you know. Uh, but just you know, you're a star anyway. You know why? Why I come out in a fucking gimmick that's not even made for you? Uh, I assume you didn't like it either. I don't know. I thought it fucking sucked. It it, 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 it dropped a notch on, on on my on my you know respect list. Yeah. Um, I mean, I I I dug the song though, <laughs> but uh, everything else I'm like, eh. and when I found out who it actually was, I'm like. Eh. I feel sorry for him. Yeah. This is what they gave him? It is. That no. is what they gave him. We're not talking about WCW. No, it's, it's <laughs> well, TNA. Oh, TNA. Well, a, 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 anyway, they're, they're, they're both in the Well, show. WCW light. Yeah. Like, so, yeah, I don't know. I just don't understand shit like that. Uh, let's go go with the next question asked by Mr. Juicebox100. Uh, thoughts on the BWO in ECW? Now, no, no. thoughts on the BWO? Not the Blue Man. The Blue Man? <laughs> oh my God, not the Blue Man. Okay, we, the we, Blue Man guy, come on. We should say that, of course, at this particular time, the oh. NWO was pretty hot in WCW. Uh-huh. And, of course, in typical ECW fashion, there were a lot of parodies in ECW. And they, you know, they had the Blue Meanie. They had Steven Richards. They had shitty-ass Nova. And uh -huh. that's what killed it right there. <laughs> and uh, uh, they decided to parry, parody the NWO because it was the hot thing in 96. And uh, instead of, you know, it, it came out and people really enjoyed it because it was something a little different. Uh, and uh, it stayed for a, a long time. But. It stayed too long. But let's just be honest here. Stephen Richards. Decent worker. Mm -hmm. Could get by. Could get by. Top star? No. No. Blue Meanie? I guess for a big guy he's alright. But just never cared for Blue Meanie. Just never did. Um, and then and then there's Nova. Talented wrestler. But a piece Weird of shit. shit. So. 
<laughs> there you go. Uh, and of course, uh, I think it was Steve Richards with Big Daddy. Big or, Stevie well, Cool. The, well, Big Stevie Cool, and then there was uh, the Blue Man or, or the Blue Guy. Uh, and then, of course. Supernova. And then there's. Uh, uh, Hollywood Nova. Yeah. Fucking Supernova. Where the fuck his name was? <laughs> uh, Hollywood Nova. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just. I mean. Remember they had some oaf dressed like six? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Uh, Tommy, thoughts on the BWO? Didn't give a fuck. Didn't care. No. Well, fuck. Steve Richards is a good hand. He's a decent worker. Blue Mini, I didn't give a fuck about that fat bastard. <laughs> well, hold on now. In 2000, he came in with fucking shedding that weight with fucking uh, the bait. The, the, <laughs> the, the gang bang queen yeah. on his arm. Jasmine St. Clair, who yeah. who's sucked 500 cocks. Yeah. <laughs> fuck her. Yeah, he's not about that and, one. And, and fuck the blue boy in his fucking white white beater and his blue sweatpants. <laughs> And Tommy, last but not least, Nova. Simon Dean? Simon yeah, Simon Dean. Simon Dean? Uh, who? The Simon Dean. Yeah. Simon Dean. Yeah, fuck Simon Dean. <laughs> As Nova, he was a good talent. Until he was a politicking fucking black, black leather pants fuck. <laughs> Pops BWO. Richards. I thought he was a good. I, I thought he was a decent kind of worker. Nova. I, I I thought he was decent, but he turned out to be a piece of shit. He he's a he ratted on every fucking body he knew. Blue Man is just lucky to be there. Uh, he 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 does videos now of, 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 about his wrestling career. How small it was. Uh, <laughs> bitch, bitches about wrestlers that 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 was better than he was. I guess that's why he got jealous. So, well, what, do you, what do you think about? Blue Man, this is the guy that got mad because. Big JBL roughed him up. Well, it ain't ballet, fat ass. Well, uh, and we should mention that the BWO actually got a brief stint in WWE. Yeah, and yeah, they had that. a great fucking Great American Bad Show 5 match with the Mexicos. Check that out. <laughs> oh, guys, go check that out in the archives. Oh, man, what a match me that and Tom, was. Me and Tommy did the full review. Yeah, what man, a match that was. <laughs> here's, here's the thing. You know, they were only there for a cup of coffee and a donut, and that was it. They hit the door. Uh... Nothing else to say about that? Nope, uh, fuck it. No, that's a, that's, that's a closed issue here. Yeah, uh, that's all for the BWO me. Well, let's go ahead and Like go I said, the only one I actually thought I had any talent was Stephen Richards. And that's sad. And <laughs> nobody, he was a good worker and pretty good talent until he was a politic and fucking long-haired fuck. And, and when he had Simon Dean, he deserved it. Yeah, yeah, he did. He deserved it. Take your fucking Nutri-Grain bars and shove it up your ass. Let's go with the next two questions. They're asked by the same person. TN Couponer. TN Couponer. Which, which was in the live chat for the live. Yeah. Glad to talk with TN Couponer. Guys, Glad to talk to TN Couponer. Guys, the king of deals, the deal maker. If you don't know who he is, he you knows how to say fucking money. Yeah, yeah. He can, well, he's he a Tennessee can native. <laughs> he's a Tennessee native that likes to save that money. Hey, 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 uh, hey TN Couponer, you know that girl, who, 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 Elizabeth, that evaded the Capitals that said it's a revolution? Did you see her? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> she's from uh, Boxville. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah, she's, she's in Boxville. Tennessee, uh, ain't he? Did you find her? Yeah, usually 50 million motherfuckers see each other in Tennessee. <laughs> I always want, want, I, I want to ask you Let me know you, if you've seen question. that Elizabeth bitch. You know. I you tell her it's a revolution. I was born in Tennessee. Uh, Sparta, Tennessee. If you know where Sparta is, tell me. Uh, and uh, go check out TNQ Power's channel. Guys, uh, TNQ Power's channel will be in the link description box below. It is in White County. Yeah, t hit that link. goes directly Tell them to WR sent you. And tell them WR sent you. Uh, this question, I'm a little lost on. I remember vaguely, but I don't remember completely. Uh-huh. Uh, your thoughts on Vince McMahon's face run in 1999. It was a very short stint. Very brief. It was a very, very brief face turn. I remember he, he did the union. Remember union! He, remember union. When he turned over the, uh, the old fucking dress sleeves? Yes. <laughs> and it was Tess, Kid, Shamrock, Man, kind of the big show. With the big ass sticks. With the big ass fucking sticks. Yeah. yeah. And Vince rolls up the goddamn sleeves. The old dress shirt sleeves. Hey, remember, and we know someone else that worked for the union. Yes, we do. Yes, oh, we yeah, do. He, he had a union on his fucking uh, construction vest. vest. 
that he got for a dollar ninety nine. Yeah, Pops remembers that. Yeah, Pops remembers those days. Oh, well, he remembers those days well, quite he well. He remembers those days very well. Too well. Uh, <laughs> but uh, and then I remember Vince fucking was the uh, WWE champion where he beat Triple H. Yeah. Yeah, and then he uh, relinquished the title. But uh, yeah, I really I prefer Vince McMahon as a heel. Yeah. I ain't a big fan of Vince McMahon babyface. I'm more I did I did enjoy his commentary babyface. Ha 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 pal. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed Vince's commentary though. As baby uh, face. Oh, what a maneuver! What a maneuver uh, <laughs> as, as a as a broadcaster I thought Vince was, was decent as a broadcaster. Yeah. He, 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 he no, he would say off the wall shit that probably no other commentator would ever say. Like, what a maneuver thing! <laughs> ah, one, two, ah, he didn't get him. <laughs> you want to know why he said what a maneuver? He didn't he know what they were. He didn't 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 know what they were. So he just said, oh, what a maneuver! Fucking bits, man. Uh, or, uh, or, it's unbelievable! <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we all know he was no Gordon Sutley. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, I don't really know too much about Vince's face run in 99, just for the simple fact of 99. You know, I watched a little bit of WBF because of you know, what, what, what WCW was going yeah, through. Yeah, WCW was the shits. Going through that time. And of course, me and Tommy haven't done a lot of reviews in 1999 for the WWF. Uh, so we haven't really got too far into 99. So um, I don't know too much about it. Pops. Uh, what, what, what are we talking about here? Uh, Vince being a face in 99. I never did, did like Vince face or a bad guy or whatever. I, he, he, he was another one of them politicking motherfuckers that, that didn't know shit. Well, he didn't know shit. He put, he, 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 he put the orange man, man in the Hall of Fame. So you know you don't know shit about anything. There you go. That's my intuit on that. Oh, you mean Mr. 45? Yeah. Mr. 45, na 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 na. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and go with TAQ Power's next question is, uh, who would you have as the higher power? Now, we do know that uh, in, well, well, I believe this was 99 as well. Yeah. There was uh, the Undertaker going around saying that there was the higher power. Yeah, the higher power. Uh, the higher power of the ministry. Yeah. Turned out to be him. <laughs> and uh, there was thoughts about, well, you know, this ties into the first question. There there were talks about it being Christopher Daniels. Yes. The fallen yeah. angel Christopher Daniels until... Vince said Vin he was too small. Yeah, until Vince says, well, you know, I don't think he's believable because he's too small. Yeah. You know, Vince, he likes the big hairy man. <laughs> big hairy sweaty <laughs> man. But, uh, he's a Johnny should... knockout. <laughs> we, we, we know what Vince likes. <clears throat> well, and... Of course, you know. And come to find out, it's fucking Vince in the goddamn fucking Druid suit. Yeah. Tommy, why don't you give us the Druid uh, promo? Do you do you remember the promo? Yeah. Give he, give he us. He takes off the fucking Druid suit. It's me, Austin. All oh, son of a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> it was me all along, Austin. You know what I thought when I found out? It was Even me. my immediate family. <laughs> you know what I thought of that when I found out it was fucking Vince? Yeah. A popcorn fart. <laughs> You know why? All this time, you're wondering who the fuck the higher power is. Is it a because, new superstar coming in? Is it? Yeah, you is know. Is it? Is it someone that we've never yeah. seen before? Is it someone from fucking WCW? It could be fucking someone from them. You know that Vince fucking because stole her. because we do know that the Undertaker, uh, you know, was uh, sacrificing well, sacrificing uh, fucking Stephanie. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, even even kidnapped her. Yeah. And then, and trying to get Austin to uh, uh, uh Vince trying to get Austin to save uh, Stephanie. Yeah, cause, like because he's the only one that can do it. Yeah. And fucking. <laughs> and I was, and I was like, I figured it'd be someone new coming yeah. in, or fucking someone from WCW that got released, or and Tommy, or something, and then. And fucking Tom, it was Vince, and I was like, well, fuck this. And and Tommy Jim Ross summed it up. Right there. Yo, son of a bitch. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. When I, when I saw it was just fucking Vince, I was like, fuck the greater power. 
But I will say this, of course. I didn't give a fuck about the higher power. Fuck him and his druid suit. Which led to the uh, corporate fuck. ministry. You know what it should have been? Yeah. It should have been the druid that was with IRS in 95. I'll take that dude. <laughs> Bring him in. The one that was wearing the goddamn fucking black and white fucking, um, fucking uh, exercise pants. <laughs> Under the druids, <laughs> bring him in. At least it's someone different. Which led into the corporate ministry, where the 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 corporation uh, yeah. was with the ministry, which I hated, by the way. Yeah, it was stupid. Uh, my least favorite Undertaker, by yep. the way, uh, was Ministry Undertaker. Yeah, it was probably uh, the shittiest. Yeah, thing. people love it. I hated it. Uh, I hated it too. Um. But, uh, you know, it was kind of weird seeing, you know, Vince and Shane come out with The Undertaker and the fucking, uh, the, the fucking ministry thing. Yeah. And, and, Mixed you know, with the goddamn corporation yeah. thing. Yeah, there's fucking Ken Shamrock yeah, walking down with him. Ken oh, Shamrock. Like, what the fuck is this? Well, what the fuck is he? <laughs> Big boss man. <laughs> Big boss man. What the fuck? He's coming out with this? <laughs> He's coming out with this? What the fuck? Who was the big team with many? <laughs> do, 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 do. The eye. The eye. Uh, uh, who would you have had as the higher power if you if if you put a if you would have got Vince out of the way? Well, you know, like one they could have done Christopher Daniels. You know, who gives a fuck about size? You no, know, but this was ninety nine. This so, was ninety nine. So a different different time. I would have fucking probably would have grabbed someone from WCW that fucking got canned. Uh, well, see, that's a problem. Is I, I, I'm not sure who would have got canned in 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 this time frame. Yeah, fuck. They wanted to live. Come on, it was '99. Would you want to stay there? Fuck. Hey, you want to be the higher power, Wrath? Sure. Wrath. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, if I if I don't know. I mean, uh, well, you know how what? How about this? They could have had Brian Lee. Yeah, yeah he was the underfaker. Yeah. Well, we might as well give him something else. Yeah. yeah fuck it. I, I'm not I think it was part of DOA. Who gives a fuck about DOA? <laughs> who, gave, who gave a fuck yeah. about DOA? Hey, who gave a fuck about that? You know? Fuck, let him be the higher power. Give it to fucking Brian Lee. The higher power? No, hey, Brian Lee. There you go. I would have gave it to Brian Lee. I do know that. I, I'm not sure about the time frame. Well, he has size. I'm not sure about the time frame of this. I do know that, that, that Eric Bischoff was sent uh, home in 1999. Uh-huh. Maybe you could have struck a struck a deal, but then use Bischoff. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I don't think Bischoff would have showed up. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah. You know, then, to then went after fucking uh, Vince Russo ruined WCW. Like Bischoff, we need you, buddy. Yeah, we need you back, can, bud. Can you save the bird logo, please? <laughs> the bird logo. Kaka. We say a big old fucking open vagina. <laughs> fucking hit that logo. <laughs> Pops, the higher power, who do you think it could have been? You know, I'm not going to say because I, I, I think it was all fucking cartoon bullshit. Uh, here's, here's the thing, you know, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to refund Jim Cornette, you know, the, the marquee said wrestling, not a sideshow. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought it was dumb, I thought it was stupid. Uh, you know, it, it, it seemed to me that, like something, and I look forward to having to be, that, that, that all things wrestling will be pretty soon. Uh, well, they do have the dark order. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's why that's why I throw that right there out there. They yeah, yeah. And, 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 and by the way, and by the way, if you get the idea that, that I tossed it to you, uh, give me money. That you know you ain't never sent Tommy no money for for, for you know giving your trademark there. Uh, no, I, I'm never gonna get. Paid. Here's the thing, uh, you know, it, it's to me it was just so damn stupid. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, come on, it, it, it happy, you know. They, they was doing like a fucking soap opera, like like the goddamn uh, 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 Phantom, of, uh, Phantom of the Opera. That much is what it was like to me because you know you never seen Vincent Man's face. All you seen was the back of him and shit like that right there. His face is all covered up. All you seen was, was was nothing but darkness in his face. Yeah, it was it was almost like like Phantom of the Opera. It was dumb and stupid. And I just didn't like it at all. It sucked. All right, let's go with the uh, last question for this edition of Five Questions with WR. That's uh, that was asked by DJ Taz 316 Guys, go check out DJ Taz's uh, YouTube channel. The link for his channel will be in the description box below. Great guy. Been a follower of the channel for a long yeah, time. Yeah, good guy. Uh, and let's go ahead and go with his last question here. Uh, what's worse? we got two options here. Uh-huh. Okay. We have... You guys remember when Chucky, the, the Chucky 
Dahl made his debut yeah, yeah. in WCW. WCW yeah. yeah. Or we got everybody's favorite mama, uh -huh. Buff Bagwell's mama uh -huh. on a pole. Can I go ahead and go first? Go ahead, Doc. Judy Bagwell. <laughs> that was worse. Yeah. Why? Why is Judy Bagwell worse? Uh, you want to tell you why I'm not saying Chucky? What? Why? Because that was just a one-off appearance. It was a one-off appearance. How many times was Miss Judy there? About three, four times? Her, her, her fucking red-haired fat ass? With her fucking sweatpants? <laughs> and her fucking flowery fucking mama shirt? Looked look like fucking bitch from Mama's Family? Uh, don't, we, don't we bring that Mama's Family now? <laughs> but it's Judy Harper. I like Mama's Family. Come on, Judy man. Harper. <laughs> Well, yeah. Can... yeah, well, there's one that there's one thing though. Harper had talent. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> fucking, I gotta go with fucking Judy Bagwell. Did you like her doing bus? Uh... I didn't. I didn't like her being one of the WCW tag team fucking champions. Guys, go look that up in the archives. Yes, Judy Bagwell. I'd was rather a tag gave team it champion. to fucking Kenny Chaos. <laughs> I'd rather gave it to fucking Bo hell. I would even get to Bobby Blaze. Bobby well, Blaze. Yeah, get to Bobby. <laughs> yes. Fucking, and then, and then, and then, remember her buffing her, and his fucking mom owned a printing company, and they took care of the fucking posters that look like shit? <laughs> yes, yeah. True. Fucking, and then, and then she was, then remember when uh, Kenya did the diamond cutter on this old bitch? Yeah. Knocked the goddamn fucking, yeah. fucking granny glasses off of her? Yeah. I'm surprised she didn't knock that red hair off of her. <laughs> And then they had the fucking Judy Bagwell on a fucking Fortnite match with her fucking flowery fucking shirt and her goddamn fucking Thelma Harper goddamn big ass up there. <laughs> Wait a minute. The, 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 oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna right with here. Judy Bagwell. And by the way, hey, bud, you know, I, I noticed your mom shaves your fucking balls. <laughs> they're, 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 they're just I got rough. a question. Does she do it for all the gigolos or does <laughs> she just do it for you? <laughs> Which one, Marcus? <laughs> Something bothers me about that right there. I'm, Fuck you. I, I, mean, I, I mean, who would even want Judy on a pole? <laughs> yeah, you know, that, I, I'm, I'm just saying now. Who, 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 you know, that's another one. That's, a, that's another trait. Of, 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 of fucking wrestling uh, that really made no motherfucking sense. Who in the fucking wants this old fucking woman anyway? I respect Chucky more than goddamn Judy Bagwell. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, I mean, if I'm if I'm gonna get in the ring and I'm gonna wrestle somebody uh, to, to get to get whatever they got, you know, it, it should have been a woman to get, get some goddamn hot ass motherfucking whore out there to wrestle with that, that, that I can bang all fucking night. That, that, not, not not fucking uh, uh, give her glasses, uh, uh, take her goddamn fall teeth out and put them in the glass. Remember Come on, man. Fuck. Manage him for that boxing match, too? God damn. <laughs> Did you see her do Buff's goddamn signature? Uh, she couldn't <laughs> even do that right. <laughs> she couldn't do nothing. It says wear her fucking Thelma Harper fucking sweatpants. No, and her you, fucking no, flowery no. goddamn shirt. But you see, but, but you, see you can't really hold her. And her fucking her goddamn dark cloudy glasses. Whole, you, you really can't hold her accountable. Because, I hold her accountable because, just like WCW. Because, no, because, because this right here, you know. Buff couldn't do anything without his mama. I, 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 I mean, I, that's I, probably I, where they got the Shelton Benjamin gimmick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, got, you, know, you know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You know, if you, you know, you know, you're a fucking grown man. You know, if you can't shave your own balls, a grown man, you're fucking in, sh in shape. You know, and I'm gonna say this right here, right here, in fucking public. If I'd been a wrestler and I asked my mom to do that, you know what, then I wouldn't have no teeth like I got right now. The kid knocked my fucking, fa knocked my fucking teeth down my fucking throat. That 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 is one sick motherfucker. <laughs> Where the Chucky was just around Halloween and yeah, that was the one and, and done. Yeah, and, and doing a promo with Rick Steiner. It's like that was it. Yeah, you know, it, it, like I'm gonna go and back it was, to it. And it was to hype up the new Chucky movie. Yeah. yeah. What did Judy hype up? No, nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. And, 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 Besides her fucking and flowery thing. fucking shirt and her they, fucking Thelma Harper. They, they made this. They, they made this a big event, right? Yeah. Well, if, if if I was go, going against him for, for, for some, something that he's got, it sure the fuck wouldn't have been his mother. Give me some fucking hot ass whore out there. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I I'm gonna have to agree, uh, Judy Bagwell. Yeah. Guys, hope hey. that you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to share it on our social media. Like us on Facebook, facebookcom slash Russell Rampage Two. Follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage. You got pops on Facebook. He's always talking about the evil orange man that's out of the White House now. And, uh...
Uh, People don't like it. Lump it. And uh, you can always uh, follow me and Tommy on Instagram. And guys, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys because we are that cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop. And nobody does it better. Fuck yeah.